So for this question, it says, based on the table, is the percentage of adenine in each organism's DNA the same, or does it vary? And which statement made by the authors is most consistent with the data? So the first thing we should do is figure out if it's all the same or if it varies across organisms. So let's look at our table, and let's look at the adenine, percentage of adenine. So uh, we look at maize, and it's 26.8. Octopus 33.2, chicken 28, rat 28.6, human 29.3, grasshopper 29.3, sea urchin 32.8, wheat 27.3, yeast 31.3, and E. coli 24.7. So this is a pretty wide range of numbers, right? It goes from anywhere from 24 to 33. Um, that's a wide percentage gap. So I'm going to go with the adenine varies um, across organisms, right? It's not consistently the same. Um, so it's either already just C or D. It varies. Now, let's look at the lines that they give us. Um, in C, they give us lines 36 to 38, which says, Adenine, for example, can occur on either chain, but when it does, its partner, in crime, uh, partner on the other chain must always be thymine. So, does that give us a reason for why it should vary? Um, I'm not quite sure that it does, but let's see if we can figure, see something better in D. Um, for lines 41 to 45 says, It follows that in a long molecule, many different permutations are possible, and it therefore seems likely that the precise sequence of bases is the code which carries the genetical information. Oh, yeah, this one definitely seems to be saying that the number of adenine across organisms can change, right? Because it says many different permutations, which means many different combinations um, are possible. Um, so out of the two answers, C or D, I think D makes it much clearer um, that the adenine can vary. So final answer should be D.